Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a Japanese-inspired textile pattern using the Color Therapy app. Any of the images in the pattern folder in the app work great for this, particularly the nature prints. This template can be found under Pattern, Leaves Pattern. So let's start off with the reference. Now this image here is kind of reminiscent of a Japanese paper that you fold to make origami. Um, you'll notice that all of the little elements are outlined in gold, which is one of the characteristics of this textile. Also, we have complementary colors, so the orange and the purple. So with the background being purple, it really pops against the foreground with the orange and the other colors there. So you can do this with any other color palette. Um, I just recommend doing complementary colors and limiting your color scheme. Here's another one. You can see that the use of gold is very prolific in this. Again, we have purple juxtaposed with the yellow or the orange, so it really pops against it. You'll also notice there's little embellishments here, little flowers and leaves and things like that that we can add to our pattern as well. Let's start off with the background. I want to do a purple background like our reference, and I'm going to choose the second purple on the top row under the purple palette and just tap to fill in the background. Now, if you don't know which colors to use, I recommend choosing a color palette that's already chosen on the app. For example, the Lullaby palette has a great mix of colors that work really well together, and they're going to pop really nicely against the purple, so I'll use that. Now, for some extra interest, I'm going to set it to Gradient and just select the first color and just begin to tap to fill it in how you like. I'm going to spread out the colors evenly because it is a pattern. So just continue tapping in those colors, balancing them out the way you like. You can also find some origami paper online and use that as a reference. Try experimenting by making some of them solid instead of gradient. I'm also going to tap to fill in some of the leaves with the background color. We're going to add gold lines in at the end, so this will help create more interest. And then for a pop of color, I'll use red from the basic palette. Now, say you want to add in your own patterns as well. So go under the pen tool, set the size to 2 and the opacity at 100. Under the shiny metal palette, choose the brightest yellow there and turn on coloring inside the lines mode. Now zoom into a little area here and in the background, you can draw in your own little patterns. So for example, I'm going to draw some little leaves on a vine right here and maybe some little flowers. And so this is one way to add in your own patterns. Another common Japanese pattern would be these little half dome circles that overlap each other. So you can add those in as well. So you have the freedom to doodle and add to it as you like. And you can do the same thing with white too. If you want to add any dots, you can raise the size to about, I would do like 15. And zooming in here, I just want to add a bit of embellishment to these red guys here. So I'm just adding in these dots onto the leaves. And your final step would be to go under the effects tab and select the gold lines. It does a lot of the work for you. And you can also use the canvas painting as a great textured paper effect. There are unlimited possibilities here to create stunning origami patterns with these steps. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.